so thank you. I'll keep it uh, short and bitter. I just want to say, you know, Marty's opening comments, I think, were super on point. As journalists, we're facing hostility, aggression, and violence like we've never faced before. And I think for me, as somebody that covers far-right beats, and I think for a lot of people in this room covering political beats, we are seeing that every day. Uh, everyone that's covering the racist right, the far right, has been harassed, threatened, and at times physically uh, assaulted. And I think we need to, as an industry, continue to support our colleagues, to support the Committee to Protect Journalists, and to be aware that this is happening. Yesterday, uh, not far from here, a lieutenant in the Coast Guard, who is a white supremacist, active white supremacist for 20 years through his tenure in the Marines and the Coast Guard, uh, had a court hearing. And one of the things the government says he was planning to do was assassinate journalists. We need to be aware of these things. We need to support our colleagues. I uh, have had three or four colleagues who have said, yeah, I really uh, enjoy working on this project with you. Don't put my name on it. I'm scared. I'm scared someone will come after me. I had a colleague the other day, I tried to hand a story off to him. I said, hey, I can't get after this white supremacist nut. Maybe you want to do this. And then I told him some of the stuff that had happened to people covering this beat. And he said, yeah, 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 I'm cool. Don't, don't give me that story. So I just want to thank uh, the Annenberg Center. I want to thank all of you for being so thoughtful and conscientious. And I want to encourage you, support your colleagues. Thank you.